Hello, time travelers. Hello, humans. Got Charlie's laptop here that I got him last year, and I've been meaning to put another SSD in it so that he can have room for his YouTube assets. Yeah. And that's what we're doing today. My 256 gig is starting to get full. This is my look of disapproval. Well, you need to have a second one for your assets, like your, your stuff that you reuse lots and yeah. lots. Because like when you re-image or reinstall Windows, you want to take that one out so that the Windows installation doesn't touch it. And you have that forever. Yeah, that's well. really forever. It's in air quotes because technology doesn't last forever. I have to get the SSD and the adapter cable that I hid in the black hole room for some reason. Why did you still not get that yet? I don't know. I just hid them so that the, uh, you know, the shadow people want to steal them or I don't skill know. Skill issue. It's your skill issue. I know. I know. I know. Skill, skill. Mm -hmm. You gotta come up with funnier terms than skill issue. Skill issue is when you have a bad skill. And we're using the Samsung 870 Evo, one terabyte. Okay. Oh, look at that unboxing experience that I just jumped through by cutting the little thingy with it. Instead of like having to rip the box in half. Yeah, because we have to keep the box. And I'll put a piece of masking tape on it and write Charlie so I know which one's which. That's all that is. It's a disc. No, it's not. It's a chip. Yeah. I'm pretty sure the front ones screws on my laptop are shorter than the back ones. That's a good tip. The shallower ones. That when you take the screws out, you lay, lay them out in a way that you remember which way they go. Go back in the box! Why are you not going? No. We also had to get this thing. SSD thingy. Yeah, I, I wrote on the box what it was, so I wouldn't forget. I had to get it off eBay because this laptop doesn't have the plug. Yeah, it's quite annoying, but it works. Anyway. Toss. As always, the super cheap uh, iFixit kit that I use will be linked in the descriptables. It changed my life. Yeah, iFixit is fixing things good. <laughs> not a sponsor. I'm not a big enough channel for a potential sponsor to even acknowledge that I'm a human being. It looks like Charlie lost a couple of screws. Yeah, I did. Skill issue. True. These front ones are super tiny, and I want to make a little pile. That's why I mentioned it to you. I will have whatever model this is, specific model number, on the screen in case this is what you're here for to see how to do this. I'm pretty sure my laptop is like sort of generic because there's like 50 models of the same thing. Or a bunch of models of the same series. Yeah, that's what I mean. This is the area where we will be working right here. That's his current SSD and I can expand the to a 2240 in the future that reaches all the way over here. It's just. I have to figure out which way it goes. Oh, that was not that difficult to figure out which way it goes. And... Unskill issue! Speaking of unskill issue, it came with the screws I need. Yay! If I could unskill issue them open. <laughs> You're doing it right-ish! You're doing that job kind of okay! <laughs> okay, the chair is having skill is, issue. Is, is that, that is the fall apart chair. <laughs> It would have been funny if it just fell on my face. <laughs> Good blooper. I bet this is the one that I abused with squirming mm -hmm. when I was like five years old. Ugh. Before I actually bolt anything to anything else, I gotta figure out where everything is going. These two screws that hold it down the battery will also hold this down. And this, I guess, will go this way. Maybe int? Maybe, but then you also have to consider Maybe it goes upside down so I can do this, right? Yeah. But maybe it goes this way. So if it were to go this way, that plugs into nothing. It plugs into air. Or maybe it goes this way. Well, that makes more sense. To plug into this guy. That makes a lot more sense. So obviously, I'm just going to put these four screws in here. Kind of surprised that like a glob of dust hasn't came into here. I mean, it's good that it hasn't happened, but... You got a lot of dog hair. Yeah. Bend yourself the way that you meant to. Yeah, go straight. Now I'm taking these two screws that hold down the battery off of this end. I wonder how much money Lenovo saved by not including this cable and this bracket in the machine. Five cents. I mean, it's good that they still have it. 
Well, I couldn't buy it directly from Lenovo. I had to get it off eBay. That's mm. upsetting. Yeah. Well, this thing was manufactured right before the right to repair craze started. Now I'm using all these screws that came with it. And I wish this was expandable up to 16 gigs of RAM. That would be nice. Yeah, well, it's got soldered RAM. There's like no choice. Yeah. Is that the other RAM? Yeah, that's the RAM right there. And then the RAM you put in. <laughs> and I actually like to get the flathead from my iFixit. Turn that over, push that down, and then push it in. Hold my finger now, maybe. Nope, it doesn't go in, it just holds it like that. Now hopefully, it, I, it'll stay there and be where it's supposed to be when I put the case back on. For years to come. Now you gotta do a bunch of clicking. You're doing it right. Now you gotta say it like this. You're, You're doing, doing it right! right. See how much Terry bytes of storage I have now. Uh, burp face. Now what I'm gonna do is start it up and then start OBS. Okay. All right, now I've got OBS running, so I can show you guys how I complete the rest of this. I hit Windows button and R together on the keyboard, and I type D I S K M G M T dot M S C and hit Enter, and that's disk management without having to muck around in all the nonsense and it already says you must initialize this disk right okay and hit okay if it doesn't say that you have to locate it and right click it and do stuff so it's initialized right yeah now i want to right click it again and hit new simple volume next next d's good next and i'm going to put youtube assets i'm going to leave it checked perform a quick format. If you're using someone else's hard drive, uh, uncheck that so it does a, a full format. Or a used hard drive, I mean. And then hit finish. And now I'm gonna press the Windows button E. I'm gonna go to this PC. There you go. 931 gigabytes. Epic. Epic. So that's it for this video. Uh, I What's awkward about this end screen is that I still have yet to do the Vegas tutorial because I own a copy of Vegas Platinum as well as Vegas Pro, and I was letting him use my Platinum. What he does, he doesn't need the Pro. Yeah. But there's, I experienced the same thing as him, like working on my car, there's anxiety and, and it's, not, it's not resentment. It's where you delay doing something because you're afraid of doing it. It is called anxiety. There's, there's another one. Anyways, so watching my video will definitely help you get into there and Halo MCR is in the same boat. He's, he just, this week got a hold of a trial copy and figured out how to get it installed because he was having skill issue or tech issue. He couldn't figure it out. But anyways, if you want to learn more about this particular model laptop, you can click this video over here and check that out. If you want to see whatever YouTube thinks is best for you based off of the stuff I make down here, if you want to subscribe to my channel, it's right here. And if you want to subscribe to Charlie's channel, you can hit this thingy, what's it right there. So thanks for watching, time travelers. Bye. Bye.